Hey yo guys, hey everybody, how are we doing? Hello? Done! Okay, hi. <laughs> I will post a Facebook thing and a Twitter thing. Ba ba bum. Done. Usually that takes me about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm improving. How are we all? Thanks, Cody, again. Wow, I'm going to have to make a shelf just for your wedding rings. Hey, are you slightly intoxicated? No, not this time. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't come drunk. Is Marina the girl that was on before me? You had some, you had some nice volume in your hair. Congrats. Um, you look moist, said somebody. <laughs> Thank you. No, unfortunately, I am not drunk this week. I have something to tell you. You know, you know, last time where I said I was like slightly intoxicated. I think in hindsight, I was, I was probably six or seven out of ten on the drunk scale. Do do do. Did you get the mouse? That may or may not be a question that Phil wants to answer in one of his videos. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ruin a Phil vlog video by telling them our story. Hey everyone, you look more HD. Um, maybe it's because I'm using a good Mac. Please upload the mouse search. Oh, the mouse search. That's 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 rubbish. That is the video of me not finding the mouse. Is the camera flipped, Bob's? I think so. If you're saying so, probably. Webcams do that sometimes. They're so crazy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Someone just said Vegas video, Dan. Oops. Um. God, how could I forget about that for like two weeks? I've just like edited half of that. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get back to finishing that. Jesus. Oh. Hey. Do do do. Okay. So how are we all today? It wouldn't be. Essential Dan is not on fire Tuesday if I didn't ask you guys how you're feeling in one word. You're not allowed to say moist or penis. No, Jenny J, you, you went Ele Elaine. People are already typing moist into the chat. No, Krusty is not an emotion, guys. Jackie P is feeling sick. Oh, poor you. Everyone, look, why are so many people feeling ill? Is it the return of swine flu? Reese is feeling kick the sticks. I'm, I'm not sure that's an emotion. <laughs> Even if you feel really passionately about it. Swine AIDS. Yeah, it's returning. I'm healthy. It's, it's probably the thing that I said, uh, the thing that I had, like, two weeks ago. Do -do -do -do. How are you, said somebody. I'm good. I'm good. I've had a long day. I'm feeling a bit... Well, I'm not tired at all, actually. I'm really hyper, but still. Do you like cheese, said Colleen. Yeah, that's that's related to what we're talking about. I do. I just say, so you know. God, why are so many people ill? Those swines. Literally, those swines. I think I read somebody that said they're happy as a, gay, a bag of gay dicks. Well, I guess that, that they'd be happy. They're in a bag together, I guess. You could just mean happy penises. Lionhead Studio said somebody, yeah, we, we got to go to where the game's fable were made today. That was fun. PJ was supposed to come, but he was busy having actual uni busyness. Do -do -do -do. Has Manish come to see you? Not yet. I think we're all waiting for Manish. Um, someone said Muse is on radio, what, uh, is on the BBC soon. I'm not listening to anything new album related by Muse until... The album comes out. So everyone's telling me to take my hat off. I would. I, it's been a very long day. I think I've been rained on, so it's a bit flatter than usual. Do 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 do. Shout out to the gay piano. What about madness? I like it. I like it. See, the the, the downside of me put, taking my hat off is that I will fiddle with my hair every two seconds. So I was going to make a side channel video on Sunday about my hair, but then I was really tired and I had to do the super amazing project which I was passionate about, so that I put I put the focus on making a super amazing project. I might make that on Friday or Saturday, so may, maybe Saturday or Sunday I'll, I'll make a little side channel video about hair. Someone's listening to Glee in their, in their car outside. Who would beam Glee out of their car at 9 a.m. in the middle of, 9 p.m. in the middle of London? Oh dear, oh dear. But no, I haven't been attacked by Manish yet. Not yet. Emphasis on the yet. 
bum, 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 bum. So we've established that I'm feeling good and that you're mostly feeling ill, moist, crusty, penis and Justin Bieber, which is fantastic. <laughs> okay, before I start, before I begin the endless waffling of my live show where I just talk about rubbish, is there anything that anyone wants to ask me this week? God, the hat has made my hair look really flat. It's not very flat at all, really. It's just being hatted. How's the elbow? Okay, elbow update, guys. Nearly fully healed. Can you tell that those were once tiger slash marks? Ba ba ba. Why is your hair flat? I don't know, but it doesn't have to be anymore. It can be really like a spiky and up for now. I can look like every guy ever. Do I look like Bertie if I go like this and spike my hair up? <laughs> That's impossible. I could never be that cool. Do you still have a PO box? No. Nigel Thornbury? Question mark. Yes. Do I like giraffes? Generally. Yes. Do you troll specific tumblers? I don't know what that means, but I do stalk a lot of people. Have you heard of the Midnight Beast? Of course I have. What a silly question. Do you like Guns N' Roses? Yes. Although I went to see them live at Reading Festival in 2009, which obviously is not the real Guns N' Roses, just Axl Rose and his band of widows, and it was a train wreck. Oh god, that was the worst. I'll, I, might, I might tell that story in a sec, I'll write it in a notepad file. Guns N' Roses. Excited to see Muse live? Very excited. I'm seeing Muse and Radiohead live very soon. And I am my, who am I? F me. October's going to be a good month for gigs, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> what happened to your elbow? I fell up an escalator. If you just search, like, Dan is not on fire escalator, you'll probably see a twit pic of me showing my massive escalator wound. It was horrific. Do you... Are you afraid of injections? So, okay, Naomi B wants to know, am I afraid of... No. <laughs> Do I like injections? Why would anyone like injections? I'm not particularly af afraid of them, but I don't get off on injections. I don't Google uh, injection porn yet. Nimmer. Everyone's, every, everyone's trying to tell me how to pronounce the name. I think I read it wrong. Well, I did read it wrong. I'm saying that I read it with my eyes wrong. Someone says they're getting an injection on Friday. Good luck. Have fun. They're not that bad. They're really not that bad. When you're in England, and yeah, I, I don't. Do, do kids still have to have their TB jabs? Type in the chat if you have to have your tuberculosis jab if you're in England and you're in school and you're in like year nine. Anyway, the, at least when I was in like year nine when I was fourteen, everybody had to have everyone. Oh, a mix of yes and no's. Well, anyway, someone says not anymore, and other people are saying yes. I guess they've already had it. But anyway, it's horrifically painful. It's like this fat, and they like jab it into your bone. That was really bad, but I had to have like nine injections when I went to Thailand, and that was that was fine. It was just like ow, 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 ow. If you pinch yourself, it's just it's just like that. Dance to Gangnam Style, please. Did that last week, you silly Billy. Tried to say my name. Said L I N A, Lena. I'm guessing, or is it Lena? <laughs> probably. Whatever, whatever I don't say, that's probably how you pronounce it. Do you have dust on your shirt? Not today. Today I am wearing the t-shirt I was wearing yesterday in the Super Amazing Project, which I haven't worn both days, I just wore it on my day out because it's new. It's got camouflage on it. Where's Phil? In the other room, I'm guessing. He's got an illness. Someone gave him swine flu at the party in Manchester went to the other day. I think that, um, yeah, some people are saying, oh, I'm disappointed you're not drunk. I honestly think, I, I, if I have friends around, because it would be a bit sad if I did it <laughs> completely by myself, but if I'm in a social situation, I should try to at least drink a bit before my live shows, because I think it's a, it's a good social lubricant in it. If someone's complimenting my face. Why do I not look good in videos? It's weird, isn't it? Thing is, the thing is about videos, it's all about 
camera angles and lighting, and it can make your face completely different. Like, seriously, if you watch Season 2 Super Amazing Project and then watch the video I made last week on Dan is Not on Fire and a video I made two years ago on Dan is Not on Fire, they look like three completely different people. Even though I have the same face and pretty much the same hair, it's just, it's just lighting and camera angles. And I, <laughs> I don't know how to do it in Dennis Not on Fire videos. Seriously, people like Jack Scapp and Charlie have clearly mastered the art of how to make their face look nice in videos, whereas I, I still don't know what the F I'm doing. <laughs> do you like Green Day? Yes. What A-levels did you take? Psychology, Geography, Law and English Literature. It's very wordy. Do you like Coldplay? Yes. You smell good. I like to think I do. I miss your long hair, said somebody. Well, good for you. Hair grows back, so that's fine. Although, I know I know, most of you probably thought I looked really good in Phil is Not on Fire, but that was a very red... My hair was actually, like, horrific. Really horrific. It just looked good in Phil is Not on Fire randomly. Someone said, I like your hair short. I think it's a bit too short at the moment, but I like it shorter than longer. I think it makes my face look nicer. But seriously, oh god, hat hair. Oh god, hat hair. It's all going wrong. I could make myself into a shark. That'd be good. I'll just do that. What's Dan doing? He's making himself into sort of like a, a shark slash ice cream cone. And that's why he looks look like a chav. Geez. Okay, um... <laughs> That's thrilling entertainment, isn't it? I'm making a video with a successful UK YouTuber next week. I'm looking forward to that. I wanted to do it this week, but he was too busy. Or not, probably not. Can you drive, said somebody. Yes, I can. Thrilling, said somebody. <laughs> I know, I'm so thrilling, aren't I? I found out today that my mouthwash is making my teeth less white. On the back it says that the mouthwash that I'm using may discolour your teeth blue. Thanks, mouthwash, for making my teeth blue. That's good. <laughs> but yeah. Um, the, the, it's not Jack's Gap, though I'd like to make a video with him. Um, I went to see Guns N' Roses at a wedding festival in 2009, and I was... I was really excited because before I went to see them, I was listening to all their songs to hype myself up. So I was like, holy shit, Guns N' Roses have made so many amazing songs. I'm really hyped to see them live, even though it's just Axl Rose, who's a bit fat and on drugs and stuff like that. Um, nope, not Bertie. Nope, not Charlie. Um, <laughs> and he was an hour late. Like, literally, there were like 70,000 people standing in this field waiting to see Guns N' Roses live at a festival that they were headlining and they were an hour and a half late. You don't do that. And it got to the point where people might have been excited for 10 minutes. Half the people there were only really there to kind of laugh at the train wreck that would inevitably happen. But then, like, everyone, the, the audience just got so angry and they were just, like, shouting wankers and stuff. No, I said British YouTuber. It's not going to be Michael Arando or Tyler Oakley. I'd have liked to have made a video with Tyler Oakley, but I think he's gone home now. <laughs> Oops, missed that opportunity. But yeah, anyway, so they started playing an hour and a half late, and the audience was really fucking pissed off, and they didn't even clap at the end of any of the songs, and it was so cringy. Imagine 70,000 people not clapping at the end of a song after loads of fireworks and shit. It, it was as horrifically cringy as it sounds. And, yeah, but the thing is with Reading Festival is the council, Reading, which is where Reading Festival, they can't let the concerts continue past midnight because it's illegal and it, like, ruins the lives of everybody in the town. So they say to the band, you should come on at 9.30 because if you go on past 12, then we're literally going to turn off the power. And he was like, I'm Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses. I can do whatever I want. And at midnight, they literally turned off the, the power. They just unplugged them. And then he sat on the band and tried to have, like, a protest, we're not going until you let us play again. And they just didn't. And everyone was booing, and oh god, it was awful. So probably don't buy tickets to see Guns N' Roses, <laughs> is the moral of that story. I'm not going to tell you who I'm making a video with, because it won't be a surprise. Why didn't you go to Reading this year? Because I was busy, and all of the... The band, the, the lineup wasn't as good as it was before. 
Sounds crap, OMG. It was it was horrific, seriously. Do, do, do. Phil's mum. Caught me out. That's good. So, yeah. How did we all like the Super Amazing Project yesterday? I really liked that episode quite a lot. I really liked the segment that I came up with. And I think that this season of the Super Amazing Project is going to be the best one by, like, 50 times. I just think they're a lot better at making it now. And it's good. I, 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 was, I was very happy with it. It was good. If you don't know what the Super Amazing Project is, it's a channel that I have with Phil where we basically <clears throat> talk about ghosts and aliens and crazy news stories. So if you haven't seen it yet, go to youtube.com slash superamazingproject because we started the first episode of this season of it yesterday and there's one every Monday. So look forward to that. Check me out, video every Monday, Thursday, and random side channel videos and live shows and views. Who am I and what did I do with Dan? Well, I stopped going to, well, I stopped being busy with horrible <laughs> law coursework, basically. And I was just lazy, let's be honest. Let's be honest, I was lazy, but. Hakuna Matata! What a wonderful phrase! Bom, bom, bom. Someone just typed into the chat, felt the need to sing it out. I am your biggest Swedish fan. Sweden. I want to go there. Play Slender Man. I would. I'm a gaming channel. That may or may not be a thing after the Super Amazing Project. I will go insane if I try to juggle three channels. Dennis non is always the priority. I love that YouTube broke when I uploaded my video. Seriously, like, back in the day, the reason Charlie is so cool, like, and Smosh and Shane Dawson are as popular as they are is because they made really good videos, a lot, and they worked very hard, so they got a big audience, and that meant that then, when they uploaded a video, they got on the YouTube homepage. The YouTube homepage doesn't work anymore, so the way that all your favourite big American YouTubers with a million subscribers got popular is impossible to actually happen anymore. So, um, yeah, it's great uploading a video and YouTube just breaking. That's what I have to deal with in 2012. Some people had it easy back in the day. Serves me right. Do -do, do -do. You look really tanned tonight. Do I? Do I look tanned? <laughs> August university exams? Question mark, question mark. Oh, so many side channel videos I'm supposed to make. Um... Okay, there, there's a, a video which I've been wanting to make for a long time on my main channel, which is more of a talky series. Well, it's not serious, but it's just less stupid than the, the usual video um, that I've been thinking about making for a while. And when I upload that, I'll put my life update video on my second channel. I feel like a lot of the people that have subscribed to my channel since, like, March this year, maybe, have been expecting me to be the sort of person who just talks about my life and does Cinnamon Challenge and stuff like that, but really that's not ever what I've been on YouTube. I've sort of always just done Reasons Why Danza Fail and then random things in between. So I've never really been that much of a vlogger that just talks about my life, so that'll go on my second channel. If you want someone to do that to crap, there's plenty of other people. What's that? Oh. Jennifer Lopez. Thanks, Phil, for getting that in my head. I like you being a fail. <laughs> so, okay, I'm, so, I'm the worst person ever. Like, seriously, like, being a YouTuber, obviously people say you have to have thick skin because people will leave mean comments. I don't care if someone leaves a comment saying, Wow, you're the stupidest gay fag I've ever seen die. I, that, I just find that funny. I'd probably take a screenshot of it and add it into a folder. It's just if someone goes, hmm, I don't like this type of video, it makes me go, ah, it makes me cry and it ruins my day. Because at least, it's, it's, probably, it's probably like one in 10,000 comments that says that, but I'm just, I'm such an awful person that takes everything so personally. It feels like, yeah, there's... Dozens of pages of people saying that they enjoyed it, and then you listen to the one stupid person that didn't get the video and is complaining. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I hate my life. The internet's probably not the base, best place for me. I am rather insane, and I don't have a very healthy mind. So being a YouTuber probably isn't the best career choice for me, but <laughs> doing it anyway, it's fine. Do more transport toilet videos. Uh, when, I, when I'm on the plane. 
Negativity stands out from the good. I know, I know. That, that's that's a down quote. Okay. Someone said they trended Super Amazing Project. I didn't see that. If you if if did that happen? How could I have missed that? Probably because I was busy trying to upload it a million times. Did was it trending? I didn't see that. If it was, then send me a, a Tumblr ask about it or something. It did. People are saying that's cool. Yay! That's exciting. Yes, in the UK. <laughs> that's fine. Worldwide is that that would be a bit of a deal. I mean, to be honest, Dan is not far as in the hotel lobby was trending worldwide, but I think that was a quiet afternoon, if we're being honest. More Instagram, said somebody. I do like Instagramming, but I only feel like I should do it when I'm doing something. I don't know why, like, it's either I've just had my hair cut, I'm in the changing rooms in All Saints, look at my hair cut, which is half of them. But, like, I don't know. Some people are just, here's my face, here's my face again, here's my face again. Here's a fucking pancake that I'm eating. Look at my Starbucks. I don't want to do that. That's not an interesting Instagram to follow. I'll do... I'll, I'll Instagram when I have something to... Something to say. Like, 35,000 feet above Greenland. Because I'm, I'm not a hipster. Yeah. Oh, Dan. Why do you never notice me? Said the lovely girl whose comment I just read. It's a tragic, ironic world. Stop ignoring me, Dan! Said the girl that... Whose comment I read out. It's a oxymoronic world. Do an impression of a dying walrus. Yeah, in front of 7,000 people. That doesn't... Mm, <laughs> doesn't sound like the most flattering thing I could do. I like how I'm, like, completely sat in front of all the interesting things in my bedroom. Stupid Jennifer Lopez copying things from Swedish folk songs. Whatever. Why do you do your you nows when I have homework? I wasn't. You have your homework at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday. That's a very specific time. <laughs> There's, you can do your homework at any other point. Sing some One Direction. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a One Direction song that plays on the keyboard. Uh. sound like more than this? I have no idea what I'm doing. When he opens his arms. I haven't heard the new One Direction song. Is it good? <laughs> half of you hate it, half of you love it. I'm not going to talk about One Direction. <laughs> it's just either way. It's either going to make people go, I love One Direction, or damn, 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 kill yourself. Don't even watch it. It's fab. Hate it. It's shit. I love it. I have to go good night, Dan. Good night, Georgia. Yes. Listen to it now. It's crap. <laughs> yeah. No, one, one Direction will cause a schism down my diverse subscriber base, guys. It's not something I like to talk about. Play Moonlight Sonata. I've forgotten how to play Moonlight Sonata. I used to know the whole thing when I was like 14. I used to do a lot when I was 14. Damn, there's someone behind you. I'd see if there's someone behind me. I like Moonlight Sonata. That's a pretty song, isn't it? <laughs> Goodbye, Alyssa, who has to go. Single, said somebody. At the moment, single and ready to mingle. I'm joking. I'm not ready to mingle. I have Guild Wars too. That's, that's all the love I need in my life. <laughs> I was about to say something very weird then. Okay. So, yeah, someone said... About Zelly, did you did you see my tweet, guys? Uh, if I was if I was going to be born a girl, my parents were going to call me Zelly, Z E L I. That's not a stupid name. I'm just saying that Daniel is a very British sounding name, and then Zelly. That's like, whoa, okay, mum. Yeah, I get get your train of thought there. Not dot com. Silly. But yeah, <laughs> what's your Twitter? Said somebody. Um, at Dan is not on there's, oh, hey, the wonders of you now, Twitter button, there, there we go, 
There's the Twitter button, if you want to know my Twitter. Does the, do, do these buttons work? I don't know. They, they changed the chat. Do the buttons still work? The Facebook button and the YouTube button. If you're just a person that watches my videos on Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr, then you should get a YouTube account, because it's fun to leave comments. One of my favorite things about YouTube is reading people's comments, especially on the Reasons Why Dan's a Failure videos, where I get like people to tell me their stories. I like reading the comments a lot, so if you haven't made a YouTube account, then it should, because then you can just favorite your favorite band's videos. <laughs> so yeah, you can press the YouTube button down there. That would be fun zings. Do you watch Big Brother? Phil likes Big Brother, so I usually walk around when he's watching it. Les P has got to go. Goodbye. You never see my comments, said Miranda. Hi. <laughs> Someone, Sarah S said she was going to be called Siren if she was a boy. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Someone said you should learn the Guild Wars song on the piano. Someone sent me the sheet music to that the other day. I think I'd rather learn. Can you play... Einaudi on the piano. There's my one of my favorite Ludovico Einaudi songs is called La Linea Sucra, and I learned how to play the. on like that for about an hour. I'm not going to bore you to death, but it's very pretty. If you... Ah, okay, right. If you, uh, if you want to notice some pretty piano music, then uh, open, like, a tab or something. <laughs> Whatever browser you're using, uh, I'll tell you what to search. It's a very pretty sounding album. If you're studying for exams, which no one is now because it's September, October, it's... I, I listen to it when I'm re studying for exams because it's relaxing. It's called... Le Ond, which is Le, as in L-E, and then O-N-D-E is the name of the album, if you've got Spotify or something like that. Varipute. Say zebra. 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 Zebra, 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 zebra. Do you play Skyrim? Not anymore. Finish that. Why are you called Dennis Not On Fire? Because I made the account when I was 13, and I was totally random. And then I stuck with it. No relation to anything else. House tour. Me and Phil have lived in this apartment for nearly two months and we still haven't bought in a freaking armchair. Seriously, we need to get our shat together. Seriously. Why do guy why do British people say maths instead of mathematics? Mathematics. You promised us Farrelly's. I did. Um I failed. <laughs> I said I tried to learn that bit of fairly and I didn't because I've been busy. I I've improved my a bit, but I still need to learn the uh, middle bit. Aussies call it maths too. High five, Aussies! Yeah. Mathematical! Sing Nicki Minaj. <laughs> that would be horrific. That would be good. I should learn to play Tazanakin. That would be awesome. I'll do that. I hate exams. I hate maths, people are typing in the chat. Maths isn't fun. I think it might be. It's just, it requires a lot of mental effort, and if you don't pay attention, and you don't know how to work something out, it's not very fun. I imagine if you actually paid attention in maths, and learned how to balance a simultaneous equation, then it might be a bit fun to work it out, but like me, if you just didn't pay attention, and thus don't understand what the hell's happening, it's just not the most fun thing. You can't, I kind of just waffled my way through GCSE maths. <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba. I hate periods, said somebody. That's not related to maths, and unfortunately, I can't relate <laughs> to the experience of having a period. But yeah, um, God, like, the, I, me and Phil went to visit some old school friends from Manchester last weekend. A friend, and she had a party, and there was this girl, and she was walking around with a digital camera, and she was one of those girls at a party that takes photos of people with the camera, like, right there, and seriously, she was... 
she was a bit drunk and she was just like walking through the room and then going and just randomly taking photos and I was like every single photo on that camera is going to be monstrous so when she was sitting down and looking like she was going to be sick I was like can I borrow your camera? All I'm going to do is walk around and take some good photos. And she was like, okay. And then I took her camera, I went upstairs and deleted every photo on her camera with me in it. Score. Yeah, I did. Probably didn't notice. But that was funny. That was a personal victory. I saved myself some, some, from some true horror there. <laughs> some true horror. Do you love all your fans? Said somebody. Well... Not all of my YouTube subscribers like to call themselves fans. Some of them do, and that's fine. But either way, I definitely love all of my subscribers. Even the ones that are a bit silly sometimes and don't understand my jokes. That's not their fault. Well, it is, but I'm not going to be angry at them about it. Because I'm freaking Mother Teresa, okay? <laughs> ba -ba. What colour is a mirror, said somebody. That is the most stupid question ever. Color is a mirror. Who the hell are they? Oh. <laughs> Can you cook anything? I cooked today. A crazy Indian thing. That was very tasty. Can you play songs with your mouth? This is going to be... Okay, I'm going to practice this off camera. Did that sound like Mario? Okay, I'm going to get close. This is This is a... I'm going to take the hat off because it looks... Oh, God. I've, my hair is so thin-looking. Bloody hat. It's not what I look like, guys. Okay, right, okay. Guys, guys. I'm about to play the Mario theme tune with my cheeks. Okay. Did that sound like Mario? Was that super hot? God. You want to marry me now, don't you? <laughs> Sing Justin Bieber. I think 40% of my subscribers would probably break down in tears or die if I sang Justin Bieber, so I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to do that. Plus I don't know how to play any of it on the piano. As long as you love me. <laughs> Someone said that made my ovaries exploded. Thanks. Wonderful. Beautiful. Pretend to be Katniss. What does, what does that know? What does pretending to be Katniss involve? Looking a bit sad and grumpy. Jesus bracelet. They're actually kittens, as you can see. Kittens. Would it be offensive if I wore the Jesus one, ironically? I feel like it would. So I'm just wearing the kittens one, because that way I wouldn't get called a... An evil guy. <laughs> I am an evil guy. Who are we kidding? I'm so evil. <laughs> to who? Would you want an evil twin? I'd be curious to have a, a non-evil twin. I guess an evil twin wouldn't be very fun because he'd just do constantly evil things. Were you popular at school? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Mirrors are slightly green, said somebody. Maybe. But I don't know if that's what the person asking the question was implying. What are you afraid of? Um, being killed with a whisk. Guess that would be pretty bad. Does Phil swear around the house? He tries to, but then a beeping sound just happens. God just goes beep really loudly. Goodbye, person that has to go. Why are you ignoring me, Dan? Said the person whose comment I just read out. <laughs> I do read the chat. What brand water do you drink? I have a Brita filter, so I don't, I don't, I don't drink branded water in the home. I filter it like a bouse. Do an impression of a turtle. Wow, this is really classy. This is I. I never thought that I'd achieve so much. I'm getting, okay, right, I, I'm getting at replies from people saying, I can't get the chat to work. I suppose this is conventional, because I get new subscribers all the time, so I'll say this once, this chat, if you've never, because I, I guess, no, I guess there are new people, so for the new people, if you have no idea how to use this very confusing looking website, you just have to sign in in the top right hand corner, 
So you click sign in with Facebook and then skip, 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 skip. And then you click be a fan down there where I'm pointing on the bottom right. That's all there is to it. Now you can join in the party. I was going to be called Twinkle, said somebody. Imagine being called Twinkle. See, all these people just say I became a fan of Daniel that were just previously lurking. Thank you, people who pressed the be a fan button. Clearly there are people out there <laughs> that still don't know, so that's cool. Hello, new people. How are you? Hope you're good. Having a lovely Tuesday? I hope so. Do, do, do. Parte on you now. I know, right? This is off the hook. Do you guys like that um, bomb bomb song? You know, the one with that freaky dancing girl on the trumpets? I'm the cat with the bass and drum. Do, 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 People are going, yes, no, yes, no, no. <laughs> Don't you dare! No! Yes! No! <laughs> no, Dad, no! I think it's a good song, for what it is. You know, it's not Radiohead, it's not Beethoven, but someone has to make that genre of music, so... Someone said it's a bit of a stupid song. The, the Pop equals shit, said somebody. It is emotionally void and manufactured, but I, I appreciate the production of pop music, so I can listen to it. I like Kesha, for example. Well, I don't like Kesha, like a 14-year-old gay guy likes Kesha. I just, <laughs> I just appreciate it. Hasn't Kesha got a new song? I'm so out of the loop. God. I'm so out of the loop. Go for your tea. Depends what mood I'm in. Peach tea. I'm in, a, I'm in a peach tea mood. Someone make it for me. I like your style of whomping. <laughs> I like that. I like that song. I think that she's crazy in a cool way. And the, the trumpets are cool sounding. And the Spectrum, uh, the Calvin Harris remix of Spectrum by Florence and the Machine. That came up on Spotify, that's good. Do you like dubstep? I am a dubstep hipster who liked dubstep back when it was cool, but doesn't listen to it anymore. I don't tell people that though, so I'm not actually a dubstep hipster. It's just what I feel on the inside. <laughs> How do you want? I don't know. I should I should look this up. Liam Payne loves you, Dan. Fairly sure he doesn't know I exist. Pretty busy guy, I see. Hello to the person that says I never see their comments, but they just wanted to say hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Apples or pears? Pears are a bit weird. They, they're a bit mushy. Pear cider is nice, though. Put alcohol with it, then it's good. What Hogwarts house would you be in? Gryffindor or Slytherin? I did Pottermore twice, and it gave me one each time. God. Someone said, but you just told 7,000 people. I don't see this as 7,000 people. I see I see this right now, this moment, and most of my YouTube videos as an intimate moment between me right now and you watching this. That's right. I'm talking to you right now. Hello. That's That, that, that was creepy. Did that, did that creep you out? I felt like that creeped me out. I don't know why. <laughs> it was too intimate. I wasn't ready for that kind of commitment, guys. Join me in Slytherin. I like how at the end of Deathly Hallows, McGonagall was like, to the dungeons with the Slytherins, and they spend the whole time going, oh, they're not evil. Your tits. Do you like sparkling water? I don't. I really, really don't. Soda water. Salsa water. God, when I heard Molly, Mimi Molly, order salsa water when I was with her in LA, I was like, excuse me? I was expecting, like, Salsa just poured into a jug or something. Someone said into the chat, You are really posh. No, you're looking for a different word. Posh is not the right word to describe how someone talks. I made a video about it. I think <laughs> I think I could have ignored, said somebody. The goal of life isn't to get me to read your you now comment out loud. I do see all of the comments with my eyes, but I couldn't reply to every single one with my mouth, otherwise the show would just be like a blah, 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 blah. maybe maybe it would be cool if I just did an hour of me going blah, 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 blah. that means it sounds terrifying actually yeah let's not do that that sounds terrifying <laughs> he made a video on that you noob I know right yeah I did I did it 
Did you listen to Grimmy's first show? I was going to listen to it on iPlayer. I wasn't awake for it, surprisingly. Would you come to Canada? Of course I would. I'd love to. Say wobble. Wobble bass, wobble bass, wobble, wobble, wobble bass. Do you like Taylor Swift? I don't like that new song. No offense. Whoa! Oh god, Dan just went there. Oh shit! Okay, I think that T Swift is a very talented young lady. I just think that it's a bit generic. The guitar bits are just a bit like ding 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 ding. ding. Everything that sounds like that is just trying to be party in the USA, and nothing will ever be as good as that. Because it's just a generally well-known fact that Party in the USA is the best song of all time. I really like songs that start with just a few guitar chords like that. Like, um, and there's nothing like those first few chords of Party in the USA that are like, yeah, this is a good song. Congrats, person. That's not Miley Cyrus that wrote the song. Good job. Like, what's the, what's the Pink song? <laughs> so, oh god, guys. Um, having a mind blank. I'm not going to look it up. The Warblers sang it. Raise your glass. God, like, they, what what beautiful first few chords in that. Ding 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 ding. It's like, oh, that is that is such a good pop song. Seriously, that is such a good pop song. I listen to it. I'm just like, oh, someone wrote this. Goodbye, person that has to go. I sit there and I listen to it, and it's like, right, right, put out the lights, we're gonna, and I'm just like, do, 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 and I'm like, yeah, 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 this is a good song, and it all builds up to, so is your glass of, and I'm like, yeah, well, short hair doesn't suit you, said somebody. Well, sorry if you want me to look like a big lesbian, but uh, I think I think it does suit me. I think it does. I think it makes my face look cheekbonier. I don't know why. Although you still have you still haven't properly seen it because this is this is a flat, flat tap tear. I think I could have a quiff though. I could just I could I could be like Nick Grimshaw. I'm not going to do that because every guy in the country has the same haircut. Every guy in England basically has shaved sides and then just looks like that. And that's what every guy in the country looks like. And I just don't want to. I just don't want to look like I'm trying to be cool by doing the cool haircut in England in 2012. You know what I mean? Mac or PC? Uh, I had PCs all my life until they broke all the time and I got sad. Once you go Mac, you never go back. I have Windows on my Mac on a, on a separate hard drive, so I just use a Mac because the, the hardware doesn't break. Do you like Ed Sheeran? Yes. Patsy F said she's very depressed. Well, Patsy F, I don't think any of us want you to be very depressed. So everybody, everybody type, smile Patsy F into the chat. And hopefully she'll be slightly less sad for whatever reason. Unless she was just joking, in which case she just trolled everybody that's about to take part in this. But just say, smile Patsy F. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're all coming together to bring happiness and joy to the world. Yay! There we go. Cider to somebody. Yeah, me and Phil have... Okay, straight, straight from helping a girl feel happier to alcohol. Me and Phil have recently become obsessed with expensive cider that's like fruity tasting. Seriously. There's a Swedish cider brand called Recorderlig who make loads of tasty ciders. And it's like, mmm. How was your day with Chris? Me and Phil and Chris went um, on a little adventure today. We were invited to Lionhead Studios, which are the people that make their Fable Xbox games, which are like some of my favorite, well, Fable 1 and 2 were anyway, because they brought out this Kinect game, which is about horse riding and stuff like that, and it was really good. But it was a bit dodgy. Like, you realize that you look like a bit of a prat sitting there going, yeah, to this horse and stuff like that. And, like, there's mini, well, it's not a mini game, but you can optionally clean the horse, and it's like, if a horse gets hit by an arrow in this video game, goodbye KTD, if a horse gets hit by an arrow in this computer game, then you have to like get off the horse and remove the arrows from it with Kinect and then heal its wounds. And it's it's a bit like you're touching up the horse. It was a bit weird because you, you, you you're going like this and you just 
you're just stroking this imaginary horse and then you you can't leave the screen until you've healed it. So then you just you're kind of just poking your hands around the underside of this horse and it's like I'm I'm committing bestiality right now. <laughs> Basically. It was yeah, it was it was like that. A, a lot of groping while people were watching through the window, like, how do people like this game we've made? And I was just sort of pleasing this horse. It had some things like turn on the light bulb and it was like and it was like turn on the light bulb four more light bulbs to turn on and I was like oh god you are smosh said somebody <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm glad Anthony Padilla still follows me on Twitter I think it would be quite devastating to my uh, self validation like seriously when Charlie McDonnell followed me on Twitter it was like it was like uh, an Academy Award or something. It was like a seal of approval that I'm respected by my peers, basically. <laughs> I don't know why. Do, 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 do. A bit late, Becky B, who just joined. Do you like PewDiePie? Yes, however, I don't think I could ever make as many videos as him. All he does is play video games, film them, and upload it. I need to play video games and eat <laughs> while well, I've made a video. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Come to Mexico. I'd like to one day. That'd be cool. Bye, Dan, said Bella P. Goodbye. Do you like a Sabian? Yes. Do you like this? Yes. Well, at least you're not drunk this week. I, uh, I might, uh, I've, ah, oh, no, like, like I'm going to talk about something now, because I can't imagine I'd ever explain this in a side channel video or a main channel video or anything, or even a waffly for you question, but like, I am really OCD about the order of my videos, like a lot of people are like, how do you come up with video ideas? I am the opposite of this, I have a video ideas file on my computer, which literally probably has more than 40 video ideas that I could make, so when they're like, ooh, video every week, Dan, are you sure you can come up with the ideas? I have the ideas, for me it's just whether it feels right to put that idea after the next idea. And for me, in my head, it was, oh god, I made three reasons why dance fail in a row. How did I do that? Oh dear. Okay. Sexy internet dating too, because that's just so different to everything. That's just like, okay, a bit different. Then I was going to post a video that I'm filming with a YouTuber next week on Thursday, but I can't do that now. Because I'd planned like the next sequence of my three videos and I got really excited and now I can't do that till next Tuesday, and it's like, my, my video order OCD is like, uh, and it's ruining my life, to be honest. So, um, ruining my entire life, serious business, first world problems, but, yeah. So, that should be fun. You need to memorize scripts, said somebody. For what? For videos? I don't really script my videos, <laughs> apart from the sketchy bits. I just kind of waffle and then cut it down until something that remotely makes sense. You look like Zane, Dan. Could I have Zane hair? Maybe if I make this really short. If I really flatten it down. What is, what, Zane is just like... No, Zane, Zane is really spiky, isn't he? No, I, I can't have Zane hair. His hair is too short. Zane hair. Look, I can have Louis hair. Just, just freaking... Just do this, whatever. Hey guys, hey guys. Um, uh, yeah, look, look, look. I'm Louis Tomlinson. I don't even know what's going on. That sex shark. <laughs> I suppose I look like every Josh Ramsey, Alex Gutscarf guy from band as well. If I just go, okay, take all my hair here, and then just kind of scrape it over to here, make it a bit spiky on top, and then be like. Yeah, look, look, guitars. There we go. I'm easily adaptable. I'm like a chameleon. That's shit. <laughs> I'm like a shit chameleon, guys. That's what I'm like. Bethia said she's ill. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Yeah, like, you know when I took that photo of my new haircut when I was in the All Saints changing rooms. Because that's what I always do. I always get my haircut and then go shopping. I tried to try on a pair of jeans. Okay, I, got, I can't imagine that I'm going to tell this story anywhere else. So here you go, you now, just for you guys. I, I have a pair of 
jeans from All Saints that fit me perfectly, and they're 30 inch waist skinny jeans, and they fit me perfectly. In fact, they fall down all the time, uh, as you know. As you know, they fall down constantly. So, <laughs> but yeah, and then I tried on this other pair of jeans, and they were so tight that I literally couldn't get them past my knees. Like, I, I was pulling them up my legs. I couldn't get them, like, over my foot. And they were so tight, I literally couldn't pull them up. And even though they were supposed to be the same kind of jeans as my other ones, just completely black, and the same size, I wasn't insulting Alex Gascard, you silly beaver. Um, and, um, yeah, I couldn't get them past my knees. So I was like, oh, dear, well, I think I'm going to have to... Uh, go up a size for these kind of tight jeans. So then I tried on a 32, and they were still really hard to put on. And I was like, well, am I gaining weight or something? Like, two-inch upgrade on my waist, even though I have the same pair of jeans in a different color. And then I was like, no, I'm going to fit them on. So I was like, I was standing here, and I, I'm not going to do this, but I was like, you know when they're like here, and you're sort of bending forward and pushing it together in an attempt to be like, oh, come on, button, please, and you're kind of hopping, and they're kind of halfway down your legs, and you're desperately using all your might to squeeze them together. I did that, and I was like, <laughs> I'm so about to put these jeans on, and the button popped off. I am not joking. Le le I was putting a pair of jeans on, and I made the buttons explode off the jeans, and, like, this was... Like, it, it was really freaking dramatic, so I was like, ah, ah, and then it went poof, off the jeans, and it went straight into the mirror, and it sounded like someone had just launched, like, it sounded like someone had just, like, fired a gunshot, basically, and I was like, oh, fuck, okay, I, I, I just broke a pair of jeans, and then the guy standing outside the changing rooms thought that I'd tried to, like, remove the... Uh, Package too big <laughs> says yes, of course that's the problem. So you can't you can't contain it, but um Tangent right anyway, so yeah, the guy was like he obviously thought that I was trying to remove the security tag Because obviously you can't pull the security tags off clothes without like going bah! So he was like Guys up to shenanigans. He busted in this changing room and I picked up the button and I was holding it and I was like Did I I've, I haven't done anything wrong and he he realized that I wasn't robbing anything. He hadn't worked out that I just broke the pair of jeans, but he realized that I wasn't trying to rob anything. And then he tried to cover it up like he was just checking to see if I was okay, but blatantly he thought that I was trying to rob something. So I was like, no, that's fine, that's fine. So I was going along with his lie that he just decided to make up, and I was like, fuck, fuck, I broke the jeans. And then he was like, were they good for you? And I was like, yeah, they, they fit really good. And then I just hid them somewhere in the shop and ran away. So, uh, yeah. In other words... Yeah, someone said, why don't you ever wear shorts? There's a pair of shorts that I wear in pretty much every video, which are like tracksuit bottoms. And if you look at my videos in 2011, I'm pretty much wearing the same pair of black shorts in every video. So, um, I don't wear them outside, but when I'm filming videos, I wear shorts a lot. Guys, Patsy F is smiling. Good one. Success. We're making the world a nicer place. Go us. Go us. Do you want to be an actor, said somebody. I'd like to, but uh, kind of too busy doing other things and don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> How should I decorate my bedroom, guys? Like, we, you're complaining that we haven't made a flat tour video, but I don't know what to do. Like, I have this... I like I like that. That Willow painting ambulance studio Ghibli poster corner. And I want to replace the bed sheets because these are just the ones that I had lying around. But I like the general vibiness of that. And I like that, but then I hate this. I'll move forward. This desk is the ugliest thing ever. Like, seriously. It was okay in our last apartment because all the furniture was cheap and horrible, but it's really bad and I don't like it at all. So, um, what should I do? Pink walls, said somebody. I, I am... <laughs> I've just made myself sick. No, that's fine. <laughs> Cover your desk in pictures. <laughs> pictures everywhere! Picture wall! I suppose it will make it 
look lived in, but there are very tall ceilings in this chandelier apartment. Okay, I'm going to stop spinning around because otherwise I'm just going to bath on the laptop. <laughs> and that wouldn't be a good live show, would it, guys? Do art things. Yeah, get creative. Do you like the painting over there that my friend Briny painted? It's a little balloon floating up into the atmosphere. I like it. I like it a lot. Goodbye, person that has to go. <laughs> Anime crush. Has Manesh found you yet? That's the first thing I said in this. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Will you ever visit Sweden? No, guys. Every time I do a live show, people just ask me a bunch of questions. Maybe I should do, like, a You Now Q&A, which is basically, Why are you ignoring me? Will you come to Sweden? Do you like All Time Low? Do you watch Charlie? <laughs> That'll be fine. Get a goat to stand in your... Done. Bedroom decoration done. Just get a goat. There we go. Someone said, what happened to your Instagram? Um, I use it occasionally. You should paint Phil's face on your wall. Wow, that sounds utterly terrifying, if I'm being honest. God, my, my hair's so flat. It won't be like this next week, guys. No hat next week. Someone said, it's Alexander Ryback, you idiot. <laughs> What's Alexander Ryback? I'm in love with a fairy tale. Speak Irish. What, the language or the accent? Because either way, I'm going to offend people. <laughs> No, Charlie, <laughs> Bryony, who is Paper Lilies on YouTube, painted that painting, not Briar Lee, Charlie's girlfriend. Although, I have been aware of Briar Lee, Charlie's girlfriend's videos for a while. I'd like to meet her, she seems really nice. Patsy F is leaving. Goodbye, Patsy. I'm glad we could make you smile. I have mad skills. As you can tell. What do you think about Phil's toxic vid? What well, his lip syncing one? I think that the, the cover's really good. Was it my static lullaby? Don't remember. <laughs> toxic is the best example of like how to sing sexually. Maybe I'll I'll get Phil in for that. <laughs> song? Anyone? Anyone? I'm going to watch the chat now. Claudia B said sunburn. Yes. It is indeed. Sunburn. It's very easy. I like the end of the song, it goes. It's a very ethereal sounding. Say I love you, Beth. I love you, Beth. I love you so much. <laughs> there you go. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Can you play Madness what, on the piano? That exciting. <laughs> um. Can you play Fireflies? Yeah, so I, I like Beethoven and Rachmaninoff. The next thing on my to learn list is Fireflies. <laughs> no, I can't play Fireflies. Play Panic. I've forgotten how to play into intermission. I should remember. I don't remember. 
Soz, guys. How do you do the I thing in the Dan in the reasons why Dan's a fail thing? I did this thing where I like moved one eye while the other one was in the same place. I don't even know how I did it. It was a beautiful moment where everything in my head went wrong. I think. I think. Play the other half of Feralies. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is the normal bit. Can you play any Ludovico and Audi ruin over this? I can play the um. Phil, he was watching a documentary. That's our attic. Do you see that? We have a freaking attic. We don't know what's up there. Definitely the girl from the grudge. Fuck ever going up there, seriously. Like, that ceiling is so high. We are never, ever going to open that freaking hatch. Like, all the corpses would fall out. Motion sickness. Phil is ill. He looks like a goblin. Don't sneeze on me. Why are you applying BT on Twitter? Because our internet isn't working. <laughs> is this the sympathy Phil in a hoodie? Hello. I'm so ill. It's just like... Hit me like a. How come I'm not? Yeah, you went to the same party. I don't know. Did you make out with somebody? I bet you did. No. You made out with a slug, didn't you? I made out with the slug. You got wasted, and you so made out with a giant. I bought some virus. strepsils, which are extra strength. Freaking love strepsils. And then some ultra throat spray, and it was buy one and you get something free. And I was like, <laughs> oh wow, that's healthy. <laughs> How exciting! Buy one get one free at the pharmacist. Yeah, so I got these cool tablets. Oh, you take best the blue, day ever! The blue ones at night and the yellow ones. At I like the lentic things that you mix into the drinks. Oh, they taste horrible. They taste gross. Ba -ba -da. How come so many people watch one person? Said somebody. I'm a, a YouTube guy. If you don't know who I am, then just click the YouTube button down there, and your world will become worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the get well soon's people. Yeah, you you. You're hamming it up so much. Why have you got your effing hood on? Because I'm cold. You're inside, you gimp, and the radiators are on. I'm no, dying. you're not. You heard that I was coming. <laughs> you heard that I was coming in, so you put up your hood so everyone will feel sorry I've for you. I've been like this. No, you haven't. We were playing Connect earlier. <laughs> you were groping a horse at high speed. I was. And now you're pretending to be ill. I loved feeding the horse the you apple. You slag. A woman walked in as I was feeding the horse the apple. People were talking about your. Uh, someone asked me what I thought of your toxic video. Oh, really? What did you think? I said the song's good. I don't really have an opinion on you lip syncing <laughs> to it. It was very old school, wasn't it? It was. Like, um, I like that video. That kind of video. I like do... when you could just do things like that. I want to do another music the, video. The good old days. When it wasn't oh, so man. serious business. Serious beeswax. Toxic is a good example of the song that's like, if you want to learn how to sing sexually. Because mm. even though Britney Spears probably can't sing live at all, at least not while dancing. Yeah. Or at least anymore. She's very good at sounding sexual in the studio, isn't she? She is. Because there's that certain... Really? It's, no, it, like Harry oh, Styles no. can do it. You have to sound like you're about to have an orgasm when you say the okay. words. It's like, maybe. Oh, maybe. No, no. It's, <laughs> wow, okay, you just sounded like you were giving birth from the <laughs> toilet or something. Right? No, no, it's, it's like a... <laughs> like, just, uh, so it has to be like, maybe can't you see... Like that, it's like, mm, uh, baby, can't you see? No, it's, you sound like you're straining on the toilet. <laughs> uh, baby, can't you see? <laughs> oh, baby, can't you see? <laughs> oh, God. Right. Oh, no. Phil, okay, I won't infect you ding. all. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Ow, my throat hurts. <laughs> Don't make Phil laugh, oh. he's got a sore throat. Ow. Ding. That's, that's the main... Ding, ding, ding. ding. Okay, wait. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> wait. <laughs> one more. Ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. 
Ding, ding, ding. ding. Mm, baby, can't you see? Jeez. Wait. Oh, You're like, baby, oh. can't you see? No, baby, mm. can't you see? Mm, baby, I'm can't calling. you see? A guy like you, you have to sound American as well. Oh, it's like, okay. A guy like you should wear a warning. Okay, and then it's, you're dangerous. <laughs> because yeah, she's yeah. such a. Slag. I'll work on it. You'll work on it. For next week. You, so you're not going to show everyone yet? Okay, you wait, okay. Mm, baby, can't you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil, you're worst. I'm calling. Oh, God. A guy like you should wear a warning. <laughs> no, no, it's all about the start. No, it has to be like. Wait, if you can't see my mouth. Maybe can't you see? If you can't see my mouth. No, it's like that. Maybe can't you see? Wait, 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 I got it. Maybe can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. You're dangerous. I'm fine. Wow, you are just you are just sex defined, aren't you, Phil? Seriously. Oh yeah. The ladies can't handle it. Oh, I feel rubbish. Too high, can't go down. It's in your face and you're feeling proud. We're going to make up our own words. I don't even know what I said. They did that in Glee, didn't they? They sang it all high. Yeah. Too high, can't come down. Mm. Sorry, for you, sorry for major yawn. Phil's making everybody yawn. Climatic end to the live show. Phil's sorry. making everybody yawn. Oh, my throat hurts. I'm probably going to go to bed after this. Liar. Yeah. How was your documentary on the guy that can't forget? It was kind of boring, actually. I thought it would be. It was... I think we heard the whole thing on this morning. Yeah, so. it could have been like 10 minutes long. They were just like, what happened in February? And he was like, oh, I went to school. Yeah, it was a guy who could remember everything in his life, which I can do too. I just don't brag about it on TV. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, you can't. Ask me. What happened? Okay, what happened on... The... 10th of February, 2011. Um, 10th of February, 2011. I went to the shop and bought some milk. No, you didn't. I did? No, you didn't. What did I do? You were with me in Wokingham. Really? Ha, ha, ha. Foiled. How do you know that? Because it's my mum's birthday. That's why I remember. Uh, and I went Foiled. To... Foiled. Ha. You are such a bag of lies. I'm not a lie. You're a bag You're of a lies. You're a bag of lies. You're a bag just, of lies. I'm not a lie. I'm not being that mean. Have you been taking care of, care of Phil? Not really. I only got ill like I made really you stack quickly. the dishwasher. Yeah. He made dinner. I don't want to make food. He made I made dinner, but that's because I was effing hungry and food is all I care about. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, but it kind of just attacked me today as I was playing with the horse. I got gradually you, you, were, you were groping the horse too intensely, weren't you? Maybe I got it off the horse. You were turning off the lights. Do your impression of turning off the lights in the Fable Connect game. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> go, go on, Phil. Yes, and that, yep, yep, yeah. everybody loved it. I loved everyone watching me through the window doing that. It was good. It was good. I want to cover my hands in glitter glue and then pick it off. I might do that for the rest of the day. And that's what you missed on Phil. Well... Okay, we've had a lovely Tuesday night. Oh, has it been good? I think, yeah. If you don't know who I am, I might be dead by the time you next see me, but my name's Amazing Phil on YouTube. You should watch. It's fun. Or not. Don't. Don't ever look at me again. (laughs) Hi. Yeah, okay, so... um, I'm going to read about my throat spray. Phil's going to read about his throat spray, and that's what Phil will be doing in the near future. But yeah, um... What day is it today? Tuesday. So Tuesday. tomorrow is video filming day for me. I was going to film one tomorrow as well. Maybe it could be a double video filming day. Yay. Yes. I um, can't guarantee mine will be good because I'm dying. <laughs> Maybe it can just be like you throwing up somewhere. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, do you want me to do this? Oh. It sounds horrible. Okay. I have to spray this into the back of my throat. Why would this be interesting to watch? Because it says it may make you choke. Oh, okay then. Wait. Fuck the cinnamon challenge, okay. it's all about the throat spray. For one adult, it has to be three times. Am I an adult? Yep. Yeah. Bye, it's not working. Ah! Oh. <coughs> wow, that was riveting. Oh, it tastes, it's meant to taste like cherry, but it really doesn't. Wow, that's, that was the most exciting thing I ever watched. And I'm really glad that you, yeah. you hijacked that, my sentence. That, that started my descent into... 
chloroseptic spray addiction. <laughs> I'll come find you next live show and you'll just be like, Robert, where's Phil? You'll be in the spare bedroom just buried in Don't look at me! And I'll just be going, shh. Okay, so look, look forward to that happening. But yeah. working. Okay, so new video on Thursday. If you don't know who I am and you're just lurking on you now, then press the be a fan button and check out my... What did you just stick to my face? Oh, it's just a blue thing. That's fine. I had no idea. It looked like a... I don't even know. So yeah. Okay, I hope you all have a lovely Tuesday sleep. Or... I don't... There's nothing else happening on Tuesday for anyone anywhere in the world, is there? It might be their birthday. Have a lovely Tuesday sleep or rest of birthday. I mean, there's 5,755 people. So divide that by 365. You know there's no and there's a lot of people's birthdays. It is. Happy birthday to everyone that's birthday is. Yes, there we go. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday for my new video. Go check out the Super Amazing Project. Yeah. Go to youtube.com slash super amazing project to go watch that. As you it's really good. It. But, yeah, if you don't know who I am and you're just lur a lurker on you now, then... Press the be a fan button, because then you'll be told when I next do a live show, which yeah. could be spontaneously this weekend, or next Tuesday at 9 o'clock, which is when I do it. And if you haven't yet, then check out my YouTube channel, because I'll be uploading a video there the day after tomorrow. So yeah. Hardy For those Hardy. of you guys who already know who I am, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday night. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely Wednesday. Don't die. <laughs> is my advice. Phil might. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. I miss you.